Let's learn about nonwood fiber. In North America, there are two potential sources of nonwood fiber that have been considered for papermaking. The first is dedicated fiber crops grown specifically for papermaking, such as canaf. The second is agricultural residues of fiber remaining from the harvest of food-based crops, such as corn stalks. Agricultural crops, crop residues, and wood are all important sources of papermaking fiber. Which to choose will be driven by relative abundance and delivered costs, compatibility with existing manufacturing infrastructure, contribution to product characteristics, and manufacturing efficiencies. It will also depend on environmental objectives such as minimizing land disturbance and water use over time, and on economic viability. Let's talk about land use trade-offs between nonwood fiber and wood use. The harvesting of a timber stand does result in localized habitat alteration. Row crop agriculture also has effects on biodiversity. Managed forest lands are comprised of multiple age classes such that the overall landscape contains different habitat types promoting biodiversity. Row crop agriculture spans large fields of commodity crops with less structural variability and less habitat diversity. Let's talk about water discharge trade-offs between nonwood fiber and wood use. The lower lignin content and differences in cell structure of nonwood fibers generally contribute to lower discharges of substances contributing to chemical oxygen demand in mill effluent. Therefore, nonwood fiber is generally associated with less intense wastewater treatment. Let's talk about energy trade-offs between nonwood fiber and wood use. Nonwood fiber, by virtue of its chemical structure and lower lignin content, is easier to pulp and bleach. As a result, nonwood fiber typically requires less overall manufacturing energy. However, wood fiber has a significant renewable fuel advantage when chemically pulped, and therefore its reliance on fossil fuel generated energy is dramatically less than that associated with nonwood fiber chemical pulping. How is the pulp and paper industry performing when it comes to using nonwood fiber? In North America, there is currently little environmental or economic impetus for wider use of agricultural crops and crop residues for the manufacture of paper products. Circumstances in the developing world, however, are economically more favorable for nonwood fiber use and continue to prompt technological research and development to improve manufacturing processes related to nonwood fiber. Paper producers in North America have explored, and will continue to explore, opportunities to reduce costs or improve fiber quality by using nonwood fiber in specific mills and product lines. To learn more about this subject, click on the links on this website.